Thank you, everyone. Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I, I want to say it's, it's great to be here with all of you. I, uh, I attended this, uh, uh, um, arrange, uh, this uh, gathering for two years ago as well, and I can see just by the numbers of people who wanted to be here that it's going, you are creating change. And I want to uh, say that I get inspired by seeing all the strong both women and men pre present here today. In my time as a state secretary, it's my fourth year now, in my fourth year, uh, I have met many influential and inspiring women in the maritime industry. Women like Elisabeth Grigg, Hege Skriset, Lynn Cecilia Moholt, and you, Eli. Uh, women with great ambitions. We need women like you in the Norwegian economy more than ever. You are also the role models who pave the way for other women uh, on, the way, on their way onto the top. Shipping is still a male-dominated sector. There are probably many reasons uh, for this. However, getting more women in higher positions in shipping will no doubt be a good uh, investment for the industry. Gender equality is a question on equal rights and equal opportunities. And we do have come far uh, here in Norway. Women in Norway have uh, one of the highest rates of employment in the world. There are even more women than men who take higher education. We have a high female representation in boards of public limited companies and state-owned companies. Still, we do have some challenges. If you look at, uh, uh, if you look at leadership, only seven of Norway's 100 biggest companies have a female CEO. Women still earn less than men, and we need more female entrepreneurs and female board members. The Norwegian government has put high effort to get more women in higher positions. Through our white paper on gender equality and through our uh, strategy on entrepreneurship. And, uh, and this is a high priority also in our uh, ownership policy in the state-owned companies. But the most important job is done by the women in front every day, like the winner who is soon going to be announced. Before I finish, I want to thank Vista for your great work and by awarding this prize for the 12th time you acknowledge and inspire women in shipping for their job every day and to continue to break the uh, glass ceiling. Um, I, before I became straight secretary, I used to be an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur myself. And I know that it's, uh, you know, in business, it is people that make a difference. It's the relations of trust that make a difference. Um, every time I come to an event like this, I always, you know, just by looking in the crowd, I, I get a, a, you are the, um, the ones who create the change. Every one of you can make a difference and are making a difference. And I, I, I would say that it's very linked to the core of uh, this year's new shipping. Uh, by being a catalyst of change, I hope we can move forward. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, two years ago, I stood on this very stage uh, receiving the WISTA Leadership Award. And it is and was indeed an honor. Um, the fact that my presence and efforts in the shipping industry had been noticed made me both proud and humble. Becoming one of the WISTA awardees has been very motivating and rewarding. It made me continue talk, taking on the challenges and promoting this fantastic industry that we are all here to learn more on and to meet colleagues of today. So I would just like to say thank you again for awarding me two years ago. And now on to something much more important. Um, the WISTA Leadership Award is an annual award presented by WISTA Norway. The award shall go to a person in the Norwegian maritime industry who lives up to 
the list of core values. Professional, open-minded, dynamic, and committed. And in addition, the recipient must have contributed to the development of the industry either through leadership and or business development. This year, it is the 11th time the award is handed out. About the, this year's awardee, the nomination committee says the following, following in its argument. Birgitte Ringstad-Wachtal is the first female CEO in the shipping companies in the Fredriksen Group. She has demonstrated an impressive turnaround of the company in a very tough market after she took over the top management job in Golden Ocean. Implementing successful refinancing and offensive investment when acquiring a significant number of new vessels. Begitte stands for openness through sharing of experience and has for many years acted as mentor and a great source of inspiration for younger female leaders. Birgitte Wachtal, Ringsta Wachtal, was elected unanimously as the Vista Leadership Award 2017 recipient at the Vista Norway Annual General Meeting. So Birgitte, please come to the stage to receive the award. Gratulerer. Wow. Det er så lidt. Så stærkt. Gratulerer så meget. Gratulerer. Så lærer du. Så. 